Hey guys, this is JNM with a new video about Blender 2.8 and Godot, in which I will show you how to import colliders created with Blender into the Godot engine. This is Blender 2.8 and I created this simple terrain, you can see it is a kind of mid-poly model and I want to use it in Godot. But before I will export it as a collider file, I will duplicate it by pressing Shift and D to create the collider. I drag this duplicated model in the outliner onto the original one to define it as a child object and then I rename this new object and this is very important, you have to add the extension call only. Godot knows this extension and is able to recognize this object as a collider when we are importing it. But I want the collider to have a simpler topology than the original model to improve the performance of my game. So I select the object in object mode and add a so-called decimate modifier to it. With this modifier we can simplify the topology by just dragging this slider. Ok, I think we can go with that. Now I select both models by holding the control key and then clicking on the parent object in the outliner and then I go to File, Export, Collator to export the model as DAE file. I export it to a Godot sample project folder. This is called Drug Town and this is a vehicle sample project in which I want to use this terrain. You can get it here from the Godot GitHub. You go to Godot Demo Projects and then you click on this green button Clone or Download and choose Download Zip. The project Drug Town can be found in the folder 3D. Ok, let's go ahead and export the DAE file with children, the selected objects only and also choose to apply the modifiers. Ok, after exporting this I open Godot and here's the Drug Town project that I open now by pressing edit. So here you can see we have a few vehicles, we can select one and drive around on a terrain. But let me just start the game so that you can see it in action. First I choose this minivan, you can control it with the cursor keys. And it's quite difficult to control it. But we can go back and select a different one. Now I choose the trailer truck, which is even harder to control. Especially because there are these houses on the terrain as obstacles. But now let's open the scene, the main scene and get rid of the terrain and import the one that we created. So I select the node Truck Town, which is a scene and then I just delete this node. Ok, now it is empty but our terrain that we exported can be found here in the file system on the left side. So just drag it into the scene and set the location to the center. This can be done by using the transform in the inspector. The vehicle will be spawned at the position of the empty object instance pos. So the location seems to be alright, but we have to increase the size of the terrain. I select the scale tool and scale it up like this. Ok, I think this should work, now let's open the terrain scene and here you can see that we have the terrain as mesh, the child terrain is a static body that is not visible and attached to this we have a collision shape. And this hierarchy is created because we exported the terrain with the extension minus call only. Ok, so let's give it a try and start the game. Here is the mini vehicle and we can drive around on our terrain. And this works, it isn't perfectly accurate because of the decimation of the collider. Perhaps we can decimate it a bit less but now you know how to do this and you can play around with this. We can use the truck as well but perhaps we have to increase the engine force a bit. This is a variable that is exported by the vehicle script. 
So I'll select the truck, which is also a scene, then select the body, and here's the variable for the engine force, and I'll set it to let's try 120. Okay, this looks better. Now I can really drive around with this truck on the imported terrain. <laughs> so guys, that's it again. I hope you found this tutorial interesting and useful. If you have any questions, add these to the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And perhaps you consider being my patron, this would really help me creating more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support and I'll see you in the next one.